Aleph. We're beginning of what's called Pesach Per Gimel. We, the Ram says, Tell me, he tells us, Every ghost go slaughter for me to come Pesach. So we'll go to the, pir- to the Pirush. Even if his master usually has a sheep, because for Korban Pesach you have two options, either a sheep or a goat. And all of the all of he went and slaughtered a goat. Or usually he slaughtered a goat. And he slaughtered for his master a sheep. They can eat from it. She didn't tell him what he has to do. He says, Pesach. And therefore, he did not say, Give me only a sheep or only a goat. And he cites the Mishnah in Sochem 88b. Tell me, he says to his Evid, slaughtered for me a Pesach. And then it depends. What, whatever he slaughters is okay. So he was his Pshita, obviously, was the question. And the answer they give there is because even though usually he used to have either a sheep or a goat, since he didn't say specifically, that's the rule. Ram continues. Why does it happen if he was afraid of his master? He slaughtered two things. <coughs> also a goat and also a sheep. He can't eat from either of them. Either from the, either of them. They have to go out to the to be burned because one cannot be counted on two sochem. Im If the master was a uh, was a king or a queen, and he was told to slaughter for them. There he eats from the first one. Because of a piece of malchus, and we'll see what that means. In the case of Mishnah, cites the Mishnah that if the Evid slaughtered both. Then it says the Odin would eat from the first one. So the Gemara questions, you can't be on two. And Rashi explains that the Gemara says, you don't say Breiro. After the slaughter, you don't say that we see which one is going to be. <coughs> so the Gemara answers, the Mishnah is talking about Melech and Malka, <coughs> that they can eat whatever, they eat whatever is served to them. Rashi explains in also Tesis that Melech and Malka, they rely on the chef. And therefore, they don't care what's brought before them. And therefore, the second one was, was slaughtered without purpose. When they say, Ein Breira, on a Korban Pesach, that's only when it has to be decided by the decision that's made later. But a king or a queen, it doesn't make a difference to them what they eat. Therefore, um, if he doesn't know uh, what the Evan chose, it doesn't make a difference. It has nothing to do with Brewer, because he'll eat whatever is given to him. Because the Mishnah explains, you should eat the first one by the Mishum Shleim Malchus. What does it mean, the piece of Malchus? If you tell the king that he shouldn't eat anything, then he might kill them. Or he'll be angry with the Chachomim. See, they can't eat from the from the uh, any of them uh, because he'll think you do have very I don't think I chose this therefore I can eat it and therefore they permitted that the king should eat from the Fakorban and there won't be a problem with Shlom Malchus the Kesem Mishnah concludes what the Ramam writes the Mishnah do not, I do not comprehend Mary Kokos brings the words of the Ramam and the Mishnah the Ramam says the main point is you cannot be on two psochim. And that is they permitted by a king. We say you can eat from the first one. is a special header for a king or queen. When they said go on Shechta Pesach, and they didn't say which type. And uh, the Marie questions. How could he, in the Gemara would seem that it means it doesn't have to do with the king and queen, nor the Abodim, and it means basically they eat whatever it is. And that's Mishraeli with the Kesav Mishnah questions the words of the Rambam when he says, Chesor and Dasa Abodim. What does it mean? Where does this come into play? That li- it's a lack of the knowledge of the Abodim. The Seif Chok Nosan, he explains that the Rambam in the Pirush of Mishnah is, doesn't come to explain the Gemoa Daitum Kalo, because the Gemoa and that lotion was this, with regard to a king and a queen and not for slaves. It comes to answer 
And the Eved told it two. He doesn't know you can't do two. That's right, that he didn't know Taka. And uh, that's why Toys Yontav also explains it. Toys Yontav, and also he says that I think that the Ramam explains the Aitan Kalo, and the Avodim, I don't know the Aloch. And even though the Gemara, we only mentioned the king and the queen, they eat their, their thoughts are light in that they eat whatever is given to them. Still, the Raman calls it Sholem Malchus, because by the Evid is a lack of knowledge. And the Rechomim did it not because of the lack of knowledge, but rather because for the sake of peace. And as we should point out that the whole question because of Mishnah and Malikurkis and the others and the Rambam is according to the text that they had. But we have a different text, which written in the parish of Mishnah, that it's a lack of the knowledge of the rulers because they didn't go into the depth into the halacha and therefore the question falls the wayside anyway as to whether we say and the is that in the Raisa but the Rabbonin you say the Torah is Yontif says that maybe from where we can prove the halach of Ein Breira in the Rais is a chum of the Chachomim. Really, Yesh Breira. Because if in the Torah Ein Breira, how can the Chachomim say that they can eat? <laughs> what are the Chachomim doing? They're approving the Rais. And so the Yonta says it's not a proof. That it's more comprehensible that the rule of Ein Breira is in the Torah. Still, we permit the king or queen to eat the first one because Shleim Malchus, because there's a rule we have in Hilchus Kedushin that some of you does something when he marries his wife, he does so according to the halacha that the Rachomim decide. And therefore, by the city of Kedushin, the Rachomim decides whether it's Kedushin or Kedushin or not. So too, when one sanctifies a Korban, it has to do with the Rachomim. And by Melech and Malko, the Shleim Malchus, the Rachomim said, we decide the first one is going to be the, the, the Korban, the second one is nothing. But they didn't want to do that by everybody because uh, Kedushin is different from Pesach because uh, there's no rule by Pesach that uh, the had to make decisions on like Kedushin. And furthermore, <coughs> Kedushin takes place throughout the ages where it's called Pesach is only one time of the year, one day of the year. Only when the base of is standing.